This module is sponsored by the Children's Services Council of Broward County. Hi. Hi. I'm Penny. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And these are the Kid Vision BPK kids. Hi, We're kids. here today to find out about marine research. Well, Penny and the Kid Vision kids, you've come to the right place because here at Nova Southeastern University's Oceanographic Center, we have all sorts of really interesting marine research going on for you guys to learn about. We are going to start over at our land-based coral nurseries. Carrie, can you tell us what's inside this tank? Sure, Penny. This is a variety of corals that you would see in the natural environment here in South Florida, right on our coral reefs. We have several different species of coral for you guys to look at today. Um, the main one that we have are all these branchy ones you see out here, like these. This is called staghorn coral. What do you guys know about coral? They look like a rock, but they're actually living, and they also give homes for other creatures and and they grow on rock and there's many different kinds. These corals grow and make all their branches. It gives great habitat for fish and other little animals to come and take shelter in those branches so predators can't come by and get them. It's very important for the fish here in Florida that they have all these healthy corals so that they can have somewhere to live. It feels like hard rock mm -hmm. but it but it's you feel a little slimy? It feels that slimy. Wow. Well, then they grow from up here. You see how that's nice and white? Uh -huh. That's because it's growing actively from these points. And that's where the new coral is growing and being formed. So you grow these here and then you transplant them into the ocean. Yep. And we can actually do a little bit of that today. Do you guys want to help me make new corals? Yeah. Does that sound fun? Yeah. We start all our new corals on these little cement plugs, and then we're going to take one of our corals that's ready to be cut. So we're going to grow coral from coral? We are. We are going to essentially prune the coral, glue it onto a new rock, and one day that'll grow into a new coral. That's how this coral started. One day it was only this big, and now about nine months later, it looks like this. The corals don't have brains, um, so they don't, it doesn't hurt them. This is actually just like super glue, very similar. So here, you want to start, Matilda? Yeah. And just put it in there. And now hold on to it. Hold on to it. Hold on tight. Yeah. And just wiggle it around a little bit. And now we're just gonna lay it down like this. And put it on there. And now I'll hold on to it, and we'll just lay it down so it can harden up. And then in just a few minutes, it'll be stuck to the rock and we can put it back in our coral nursery to grow into a new coral. Remember we were at the coral nursery outside and now we brought one of those pieces of coral from the nursery upstairs so we can get a closer look at it under one of our microscopes. This microscope's great because it has this camera on the top, so it's actually sending the image right to the screen. So what we're looking at on the screen is actually the coral that's here in the dish on the, under the microscope. Now you see this right here? Yeah. There is a live coral up close through the microscope. This brown area around here is just its tissue, sort of like its skin. And then in here is where the mouth is. These little bumps you see right here are the coral's tentacles. And each one of these little cups is a coral mouth. So this is a whole colony of individual animals, each one with a mouth that's all living together in this skeleton. This microscope uses these lenses that it has, both in the eyepieces and this lens, to make everything bigger so that we can look at it more closely. What other tool makes things look bigger? A magnifying glass. Good question, because a microscope makes things look bigger more than the magnifying glass. That's right. Hi, guys, I'm Dr. Tammy Frank. I run the Deep Sea Biology Lab. And what I want you to do is touch the outside of that and see how papery thin that is? Yeah. That's because these guys spend all their time swimming in the water, so they have to be really light. This guy spends all his time on the bottom. Now, feel how hard and heavy that is. Okay, now, what do you think these little berries are there? It's eggs. That's how these guys carry their eggs. Wow, that's So when the eggs the are eggs. ready to hatch, then they just go out into the water. Now, you see the color of this guy and you see the color of this guy. Mm -hmm. When we first sort the animals, we first look at the colors. This is Charlie. 
and this is Eric. And they're going to show you how we sort things out by their physical characteristics. Okay guys, so we're going to separate these based on their physical properties. So by that I mean their color, their size, and their shape. So if you see this one right here, this one's nice and red, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to put that over here with the other red shrimp. And now this one, see how this one's nice and white? Mm -hmm. We're going to put that over here with the other white shrimp. And now, did you see how both of those were really big? Uh -huh. Now we're going to go to one of these guys. See how small that guy is? Uh -huh. So we're going to put him over here with the other small shrimp. Nice. You guys think you got it? Yes. You guys yeah. want to do it? Yeah. Here we go. Why don't you guys try to do All something? Right. A lot of them have to, we have to look at under the microscope to see the differences. And then we're going to ID them based on their different physical characteristics. Today we're going to talk a little bit about tiger sharks. Do you know what a tiger shark is? Yes. A tiger shark has stripes and it has a brown back and a white belly. They have shelters that are holes that they used to breathe out. Those are actually called gill slits and that's what allows sharks to breathe underwater. Uh -huh. As they swim, the water filters through their gills and they absorb the oxygen. And now I'm going to show you where tiger sharks move. And his name is Harry. Harry, actually during the warmer months, he moves offshore into the colder water and we see him acting as an open ocean shark. And then when it gets colder, he actually heads down into the Caribbean islands, travels by the Bahamas here, you can see us here in Florida, and then comes back down to Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands and spends a bit of time there. Sharks are the apex or top predators of the ocean. So they eat a lot of different things and they have to be able to have strong teeth to do it. So this is a shark jaw. And you'll notice there's multiple rows of teeth. Yeah, they're very sharp. Yeah, you can touch them. Feel how sharp those teeth are. The teeth of a tiger shark are almost like a saw. They have these serrated edges and they allow them to break through turtle shells. Could you imagine? And they may even lose a tooth. And what happens is because they have these multiple rows of teeth, they can fill that tooth back in and have it be replaced. They don't even have to go to the dentist. Their jaw is not attached to their skull. And remember, sharks don't have any bones. They're all made of cartilage. So there are lots of different types of sharks. This is a stuffed animal of a blue shark. Now let's look at the fins. So this is the dorsal fin right here, and I actually have a real dorsal fin where it would go on the shark is on its back. And this would be a pectoral fin, or like an arm fin, and that would go right here on the shark. And they use this big long caudal or tail fin to move side to side. So if we were sharks, we would move our tails, right? So everyone move your tails like a shark. Move your bottom side to side. And now let's bite like a shark does. Protrude out. Right, good biting. Let's Arr. Thank you so much for showing us NSU's Oceanographic Center today. We really had a good time and learned a lot about being marine scientists today. Thank you. Thanks for coming, kids. Thank you, Penny. Bye. 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 Bye